Hello guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome again to this channel. Today we're going to install a, a power supply for an alarm signaling equipment or ASE for this sprinkler system. On Australian standard 2118, all spr sprinkler system must be connected to the fire brigade. So what you can see right now is this sprinkler is not connected to any brigade at all. It doesn't have an ASE. So when they build the building, they provide a provision. There's the telephone line. But it's more than 30 years ago and the building still is not connected to an ASE. So it's not being monitored. Now we want everything to be compliant. So what will happen today is we're going to replace this ball bulb and install a new ball bulb and a pressure switch. That pressure switch will uh, monitor any sprinkler activation. So water goes up to the pressure switch and it's connected to a normally open and it becomes closed on an activation and trigger an alarm to the ASE. All right. So we're going to install the power supply for the ASE and some terminal for the connection. Alright, let's do it. So I have done a few more jobs already, a few works. So I've installed this power point for the supply for our new power supply uh, box. So I run the cable all the way and connect it to that box where I took my power supply. going to commission the power supply and the battery that we installed okay so let's let's power it up no power there you go power it up okay and then we put the battery in Right, so we're going to make sure the battery voltage. So, so we have 27 volts, 27.4 volts. Okay, that means it's charging the battery. If I remove this, just running on battery only, our battery voltage is around only 25.8. 25.8. So once once you plug it in. See, you can see that there is a battery fault. Battery fault because it haven't sensed the battery. So we plug it in for the power supply. The battery fault will clear. Okay, so that one is finished. We provided also a terminal. That is a terminal block for the alarm signaling equipment, which is connected to the pressure switch okay this is the pressure switch that we installed so this pressure switch is right now on normally open and then our next step is to check if we have a normally open so what you can notice uh, in here see that switch that's a micro switch okay that's a micro switch so that thing will pop up and switch that simple micro switch there so you can do the adjustment by turning this. Right now we are dropping it. Okay. All right. So it's really one, probably less than one mil that's touching this to the switch. Okay. That thing to the switch. And then once we had an activation, that switch will click in. Let's try it uh, physically, I'll get my multimeter. Let's do the initial test 
and let's commission the system so this is the pressure switch i'm going to drop the water pressure right now so we're going to focus here if it becomes short circuit and here if that micro switch will click on right now it's on, on open circuit so i'll drop the water pressure and watch it And then it switches back. Now it switches back. It becomes normal. All right? So that's how it works. So next time when the guy, the technician for the alarm signaling equipment install his box, so I will connect here. And I will make a note here that everything is tested okay according to what is required. So the alarm monitoring company will monitor two. One is going to monitor a battery fault or a power supply fault plus the alarm in the system. That's why I got this different power supply, just not just a normal power supply. So this power supply monitor battery fault, power supply fault, and also charge the battery at the same time okay i hope you learned something today so all sprinkler system must be connected to the fire brigade according to the australian standard 2118 this is elmer again your fire protection guy see you next time